Hello my dear friends welcome to top scholars today we'll be discussing about chains branches and rings so friends if we talk about carbon carbon has a unique property that is carbon can form huge carbon chains that is it can link with other carbon atoms resulting in the formation of long chains of carbon atoms in fact carbon can form chains of about 10 carbon atoms so over here you can see we have different carbon chains over here right so the first one over here you can see is methane which consists of one carbon atom what is the formula of methane it is ch4 so it contains one carbon atom and four atoms of hydrogen the structure of methane is ch4 now let's move on to ethane ethane has two carbon atoms the formula is C two at six. So from the formula, it is very much clear that in ethane we have two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. The structure of ethane is CH three single bond CH three. The next one is propane, which has three carbon atoms. The formula of propane is C three H eight. The structure of propane is CH three CH two CH three. The next one is butane which has how many carbon atoms four carbon atoms the formula of butane is C4H10 so over here you can see butane has four carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms the structure of butane is CH3 CH2 CH2 CH3 the next one pentane which has five carbon atoms the formula of pentane is C5H12 which means pentane has 5 carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms what is the structure of pentane it is ch3 ch2 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 ch3 the next one is hexane how many carbon atoms are there six carbon atoms the formula of hexane is c6h14 and the structure of hexane is CH3 CH2 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 CH3 so here we saw how carbon can link with other carbon atoms and result in the formation of long chains of carbon atoms so over here we can see that these all are straight chain carbon compounds now if i talk about butane we saw that the formula of butane is C4H10 right which means that butane has four carbon atoms but friends for these four carbon atoms there can be two different skeletons possible so over here you can see one of the possible skeleton is this way in which the carbon atoms are linked to each other in the form of a straight chain right so here you can see the four carbon atoms which are linked together in a straight line that is in the form of a straight chain right the other possible carbon skeleton is wherein you can see that the three carbon atoms they are linked in a straight chain manner whereas the fourth carbon atom is linked to the second carbon atom right so this is a branch chain structure so over here you can see for four carbon atoms we can have two possible carbon skeletons right one is the straight chain and the other is the branch chain so friends carbon compounds can be straight chain or branch chain right the valencies of the carbon are fulfilled by the hydrogen atoms so over here you can see the straight chain of butane wherein the carbon atoms are linked to each other in the form of a straight chain right and the valencies of the carbon atom are satisfied by the hydrogen atoms right the next structure you can see over here is a branch chain structure for butane over here you can see the three carbon atoms they are linked to each other in the form of a straight chain and the fourth carbon atom is linked to the second carbon atom right which results in the formation of a branch chain structure the valencies of the carbon atoms are satisfied by the hydrogen atoms right so over here you can clearly see that butane has the same formula right that is it has the formula c4h10 so both these structures they have the same formula c4h10 so over here you can see both these compounds they have the same formula that is c4h10 but if you but if you carefully look at the structure 
both these compounds they have different structures that is they have different arrangement of carbon atoms so such compounds which have identical molecular formula but they have different structures that is they have different arrangement of atoms such compounds are called as structural isomers so over here you can see these both are examples of structural isomers that is they have the same molecular formula but they have different structures the arrangement of carbon atom is different to learn more about this topic download top scholars app